Hey guys and welcome back to my Asian Bollywood bridal. I hope you guys are really going to enjoy this. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot to film an outro and intro. So we're going to make do with a voiceover. I'm going to be using my Nivea moisturising cream just for moisturising the face. And then I'm going to be using the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream underneath my eyes. For priming, I'm going to be using the Fast Sali Unicorn Essence. You guys know that I love this stuff. I don't know what it is. Since I started using it, I feel like my pigmentation on my skin is really cleared up. My skin just looks a lot fresher. Don't, I don't know if it's because of this, but I'm putting it down to the Farsali. Anyway, I'm going to rub that in, and that's going to help prime. Now, to further prime, because it is a bridal, we are going to be using the NYX Angel Veil. You guys told me about this, so I bought it. It is absolutely amazing. But I think I used a little bit too much. It really smooths out the skin and minimizes pores. So you just want to keep on rubbing, and it will eventually just go clear. Then I'm going to move on to my foundation. I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and the NARS Sheer Glow. All products will be listed down below in the description box. These two mixed together give me the perfect colour match, I feel personally. And they're just kind of that dewy finish, which I like. Then I'm going to be using the EX1 Invisiwear in the shade number 12, I believe. And I'm going to pop that underneath, or no, around my mouth area because I do have pigmentation there. It's a little bit darker there just to balance everything. The concealer you guys know already, it's going to be the MAC Pro Longwear. It's a bridal, so I don't want anything to crease and I want it to last a long time. I'm going to mix NC45 and NC42 and pop them underneath my eyes with a damp beauty blender. You can see the coverage it gives me right here. It gives me so much coverage. I'm also going to pop this on my eyelids as well because I do suffer from pigmentation. They're just to correct everything. Then I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum to highlight with and I'm going to pop it on the usual high points and underneath my eyes. So that'll be everywhere that you're seeing right now. This is just going to balance my face a little bit and help just brighten it. I had to work around the Zika and then just use a damp beauty blender to blend everything out and make it look really nice and flawless. Now just remember the more blending out you do, the flawless your skin is going to look. So just spend a great deal doing this. I'm going to be using the MAC Conceal, Conceal and Correct palette in dark and then mixing these two shades together. I am going to contour, cream contour, I don't usually do this but I feel like we need to go the extra mile. So I'm going to contour all the usual places and I do like doing it with a cream even though it is quite difficult and messy just because it looks a little, little bit more natural than what a powder would. So I'm going to do my nose as well just to kind of balance my face. You guys know that I like to do this and I'm going to go underneath my lip for a bigger pout and in between to give me more of a poutier lip and then I'm just going to take a MAC contour brush and blend this all out. Now you do need to work a little bit harder because it is a cream so just make sure that you buff this all out and keep buffing until the product disappears into your skin. I like with my nose contour to go into the hollows of my eyelids as well and then just go over with a damp beauty blend to make this look very soft and very natural. Then I'm going to be using the Kat Von D brightening powder and this is in the shade golden and now using a damp clean beauty blender what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat this underneath my eyes. I found recently that this is the best way of doing it for me and then I just keep working the beauty blender into the skin and melting the powder into the skin and that gives me a good bake but it's not too heavy. Then I'm going to be using Harmony Blush by MAC and I'm going to set everywhere that I've contoured with the cream just in place and Harmony is a really nice kind of tone, it's very lightweight as well so you just want to set everything in place so it lasts all through the day and then I'm just going to take a smaller 224 brush and just set my nose contour as well. Now for eyebrows I'm just going to brush them through with a spoolie before going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade which I am loving in dark brown. Take an angle brush, it's just a MAC angle brush and I'm going to elongate my brows. I like to do this and then just fill them in using really short strokes. I've been liking wearing my brows like this recently I don't know why just a stronger brow I quite like it and the brows look on fleek so I'm just really gonna make them symmetrical and give them a really nice shape and to set them in place I'm gonna be using this makeup forever brow set which is just clear and I brush all the hairs in place so they stay like that all day now for highlighting the brows I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in MW25 and it's a little bit lighter I do use this as a highlighter and go safely underneath the brows and then just take a dense brush and buff that out. What I also like to do is just take a damp beauty blender for these edges that you can see 
and then really blend them out as well. Now for priming, I'm going to be using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, just love this, on a dense brush, apply a light bit and then buff it all the way up. You can do it to your brow bone if you wish, it's just going to help prime the eyes and just make sure that nothing creases throughout the whole of your important day. And then I'm just going to take some of that Kat Von D powder and set it in place. Now I'm going to start off with Soft Brown by MAC absolutely love this shade. Taking it on a 224 brush and I'm going to lightly just buff it up to the crease and up to the kind of brow bone area. It is a very lightweight colour so you can really work with it and really build it up and add depth like this. I'm also going to take this colour underneath on my lower lash line because you guys know that I like more of a smoky under eye effect. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Swiss Chocolate on a 217 brush and this is going to add a little bit more depth. I'm going to concentrate it more on the crease and a little bit lower so not taking it as high but we just want to build the depth up and give us more of that airbrush sort of look with the different tones of colors I'm also going to take that with the 217 brush and take the excess just on my lower lash line to add more of a smoky effect then taking the shade handwritten I'm going to take that on a smaller brush I can't remember the name so I'll leave it down below and I'm just going to concentrate that just on the outer V and then take the excess in but you can see that the colors are now building up and I'm getting this kind of gradient effect. I'm also going to take that on my lower lash line as well. Then going into my Morphe 350S palette which is the shimmer palette. I'm going to take these two shades here which is more of a gold rust and then a lighter gold mixing them together and then I'm going to use a fix plus. The fix plus literally died on me but I had to make do and I'm going to pop this on to my eyelid area. Now what I'm doing with this is I'm going to kind of create like a half cut, you'll see me do it in a second, where I'm just kind of cutting it a little bit and then creating a gradient effect on the outer third of the eye. So you want to pat with the product to get intense colour and then create that cut by swiping across and then we're just going to buff out the outer third so don't worry too much about that and I'm going to pop this into my inner teared up area as well. Then taking that 217 brush, I'm just going to buff the outer bit. So I've got no harsh lines and you can't see where the colour stops or where the colour stops. And I'll do that on both sides, obviously. Then I'm going to take this lighter gold. And this colour is amazing. It's a really nice high highlight colour. I'm going to pop it in my inner tear duct. And you can see it here. It looks absolutely stunning as a highlight. I've not tried it all over the face, but I think I will. And then I'm going to buff that out with a 217, which is just a clean brush. I'm also then just going to pop that highlight shade on my brow bone as well. And you can see that it really pops and it's really going to move. It's really going to shine in the light when you move. Then I'm just going to take some of that handwritten again, but on a dense brush. And that's going to make the pigment stronger. And just apply it to my lower lash line. Now I'm going to be using the deck of Scarlet brown liquid liner well like it's like a felt tip liner which i like i think they're very easy to use i didn't realize it was brown but i think it worked in my favor instead of it being too intense and black and i'm just going to create quite a big winged liner with this it's just going to make my eyes look a little bit more feline and a little bit more sultry i also wanted to take it into the inner corner because why not i think it looks quite nice not too big though and then i'm going to pop on a little bit of my black liner which is by urban decay in perversion and tight line with this as well it's literally the blackest liner i've ever used in my entire life and then i'm just going to smoke that liner out just on my lower lash line I'll be using the, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and popping mascara onto my top lashes before lashes. And for lashes, we're going to be using the Huda Beauty in Scarlet. Ha recently, I can't get enough of these. You guys have seen them in every single tutorial because I really can't get enough of them. And I'm going to take my tweezers and really pinch them. And then I like to just fan them up and out as well. I think they look nicer like this. And then I'm going to just finish off my eyes with a little bit of that mascara on my lower lashes as well. Now going back to skin, I'm going to be using the J. Emanuel Beauty Highlighter in the shade Fame. You guys have seen me use this before and I love it. It's just such a nice highlighter. It's not too piercing. It's just quite nice with my skin. I feel I'm going to pop that on my cheekbones and then the ball of my nose and also the bridge of my nose as well and do my cupid's bow with the stippling brush. Then I'm going to be using the shade Warm Soul Blusher by MAC and it has got a pink undertone to it but I wanted a flush of colour instead of going for just the bronzy finish and it's got a little bit of iridescence to it as well. Then for bronzing I'm going to be using MAC Give Me Sun on an angle brush and then just take that up to my temple areas and I'm going to be using a little bit of the highlighter Old oh Darling but on a smaller 224 brush just on the high points to really make that highlight pop 
so you can see it from afar and you know that I mean business. I love Odal and it is stunning and they also stock it right now in MAC. Again, just as part of their normal range. Then for lip liner, I'm going to be using the shade Brick. And I'm going to be really careful with this because it is a deep red and we want the lips to be perfect. I personally don't like the overlined look, so I'm not going to do it. But you can if you wish to do so. And then I'm going to fill my lips in with Brick. This is just going to make sure that our lipstick lasts that bit longer because I know we're not going to be able to top up all throughout the day. Then I'm going to be using this shade by MAC, which is called Bowl Me Over. Unfortunately, it was limited edition. But you can use any sort of deep red and I'm going to pop that onto the lips and that is the makeup done guys. I'm then going to pop on my earrings from this beautiful set that I got in Southall. They're, they are stunning. Let me know what you think of this set down below. I think it's stunning. It's such a nice gold colour and I'm just going to fix my hair. I'm also going to put on my nose ring which was absolutely difficult guys. I don't know how to put them on. They keep slipping off, like literally off my nose. So I had to get my mom to help me. But once we grip that into place, we got the set on, we got everything on. We're just going to fiddle with our hair. And that is it, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this Asian bridal look. I love you guys.